ecclesiastical.info. You can also click, click on the Ecclesiastical Deep Pull link right there at the bottom of the home page. And it should take you to the instructions, and you can click on the SS4 process right there. Um, <clears throat> hopefully that helps. Frank, is, uh, is there anything else you need to add to that part? No, that's fine. I've just, I, I, I still want to make sure that, that I've covered people's questions, particularly those who have been patient to hang on. Um, but I'm probably going to be able to handle another couple of questions before I have to go. So um, are there many more people hanging on, Terry? I just want to, I don't want to leave anyone who's been hanging on for a while. Um, have we got okay. many more questions? Yeah, there's not too many, not too many more. We just have, it uh, looks like a, just a couple more. Uh, Klaus okay, uh, from Iowa is on the line. you have a yeah. question? Yeah, thank you very much. Um, Frank, I just had a, a, a quick question concerning the concept of uh, birth state and, the, and, and where you're living, okay? Yep. And there was some discussion about sending this EDP to the birth state as well as the state you're living in. Is, am I right on that? Did I state that correctly? No, no, no. The, the, the original register which you, the Cessica Bs were created um, okay. Okay, if, now if you're I, under the age of 70, is, is, is the, your birth state, yeah? Okay, now my birth state is not any one of the union states. It's Austria. How does, oh, okay. that, how does that affect things? Um, and have you been, have you, uh, you know they, have the, they call it naturalization. Have you um, obtained your citizenship? Well, I was uh, un under the under the Naturalization Act of 1940. I was under the age of 18 when my mother became a citizen. I uh, did not have my father here, which automatically made me a citizen, supposedly. Well, then, in your case, I would in California. send it to both. Yeah, then I'd send it to both. Okay. Send it where? To both. The both Austria. Uh huh. And 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 where you are. Yeah. Okay, I'm in Iowa right now. Okay, so Iowa and Austria is where I'd do it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll just have to find out who in Austria because it's been a little, it's been a little bit of time since I was there, like about, <laughs> 70, like about seventy years or so. <laughs> uh, remember, it's after seventy years, they they reconstitute the Cessna KVs because a Cessna KV can only last for seventy years. Oh. Well, I, I'm over 70 years old, so what, what does that do oh, to me? That means that you only have to deal with Iowa. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, well, that's good. Okay, that makes it a lot easier. Thank yeah, you very there you much. Go. That, that's, a, okay. that's a burden off my shoulders. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. Good on you. I'll, I'll, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll ask more later. Thank you very much. All okay, right. Thank you for you. your question. All right. Uh, who knows truth? Uh can you hear us? Can you got a question? Yes, I do. I know that the Jesuits have a very dark history, um, and the thing that concerns me is: um, are all Jesuits, or would you say the whole Jesuit order is a, is a inherently evil? And the reason why I ask is: one of my relatives, way back in the mid 1600s, was a Jesuit, and he yep. was from a wealthy family. And his yep. father was, was the secretary to King Henry III, and he left his wealth and everything he had to go to New France, which was Canada, to yep. preach Christ to the uh, Huron Indians. And he was, he was killed by the Iroquois as, as a young yep. man in the 30s. I, I find it hard to believe that they would all be inherently evil. There, might there be some among them who truly did have a heart uh, to bring truth and light you know, to people? Um, well, is it or just an inherently a, evil yeah. organization? Well, first, first, you know they're not. They're not inherently evil. Um, they're not inherently evil. If people say they're inherently evil, that they, they they understand the nature of evil. The, the the worst evil in the world is deliberate ignorance. That's the worst evil in the world. When 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 a man or woman stands in the face of of need and, and deliberately ignores, that is the source of ignorance. And it's a source of where um, injury occurs. But for the Jesuits, no. The, the the thing, the way the Jesuits structured, it's the way that the Jesuits are structured, and the way they use their intellectual brilliance and their creativity for evil is what makes the system evil. 
Okay, people don't join the Jesuits because and most of them don't join. And remember, there's quite a few parasite Khazarian that go on and become Jesuits and put themselves in controlling positions over their period. But those that join the Jesuits uh, join or are recruited because of, in many cases, the exceptional qualities. And, and the fact that these men were able and willing to give up their lives in spite of being, you know, having the intellectual ability to go and do anything they liked, run a company, make minions, whatever, um, actually is an attraction. There's a romantic aspect to them. But it's, it's using that in an evil way. I'll give you an example. Property is not an inherently evil concept. The fact that rights of use and that all ownership comes from the divine. It's not, it's the, the concept's not evil. It actually is a concept of stewardship, like trusteeship. It's just that the system has permitted itself to be abused and is being used for evil. Now, my answer is not excusing the Jesuits as the system. I'm not excusing the system uh, and I'm not trying to sort of say that you know people within the Jesuit order have not performed evil, but it is a mistake to blame the whole group. When we talk about the law, we talk about judges, even though I've said a few things and I do say a few things, often out of frustration, it's wrong to paint every judge as evil or every prosecutor as evil. They're not. The system is our enemy. The bad ideas that run the system are our enemy. So I hope that answers it for you. Okay? Yes, thank you. Okay. Great, thank you. Thank you for your questions tonight. Okay, uh, we have a question here. Um, this might be take a little bit of brainstorming. I don't know, Frank. Uh, is it possible for handling court cases as a trustee to just special deposit a charge from a court into a special deposit account and then it goes away? Yeah, I thought about that, but, but uh, that's yeah. We have to take that a bit more on. I ask if that can be sent as an email. Uh, I'm not going to answer it straight on this because I need to see it and think about that question. Yeah. Um, but uh, it's all about remedy, and if there's a range of options, there's nothing wrong with a range of options. But I would suspect um, that it would be there may be some low level thing that that can be done at, but I I probably would think that when it gets to a bigger amount, they want you in the court to, to do the whole bonding process. I'm going to have to go, Terry, and I want to thank everyone who, who are on the call now, who have been part of the call. Thank you so much. If I haven't answered a question that came into the chat or came on the question, please, um, uh, I'll try and answer next time. There isn't a single question that anyone wants to ask that I'm not prepared to answer. Um, really, this is about sharing information. But thank you. Thank you, everyone, who's come on. So, Terry, over to you. Okay. Thank you, Frank. Thank you, and have a good day. Uh, for those uh, that are still with us here, what you can also do is uh, go over to university.ucadia.info and um, go to the forum. You can just join real quick and go over to the forum. You can post questions uh, on the forum there. Uh, lots of folks would be uh, helpful and knowledgeable to be able to answer some of those questions and get a good uh, exchange of information for you. Uh, email Frank and email uh, possibly Brian if some of you have Brian's email. So we thank you everyone for joining us tonight. Uh, you can take a look at one-heaven.org and also again university.ucadia.info. Thank you everyone and have a great night.